Once precision statements have been defined and goals for success established, teams use data gathered thus far to identify the best fit solutions that will move the observed frequency, intensity, or duration of behaviors towards goals established. Efforts here are focused on answering the question of what are we going to do to bring about the desired change? Or what interventions, strategies, or solutions will remove the barriers towards success? Solutions must be aligned with the picture already depicted by data gathered. That is factors defining the problem such as the what, where, when, who, and most notably the why, provide teams with descriptors for contextual factors needed for effective and efficient solutions that are aligned with the functional determinants for the behavior. Providing a structure for brainstorming assists teams in ensuring that they have considered all potential aspects of solutions, such as preventative strategies, teaching approaches, opportunities to recognize desired behaviors, avenues to extinguish unwanted actions, and strategies to manage the consequences tied to observed behaviors. Most important is the realization that strategies must fit in the context of the setting in which they are needed. That is, resources must be available as well as buy-in for the intervention endorsed by those who must put the strategies in place. Often, the best fit strategies are those that build upon systems already in place. Action plans stating who must do what, by when, assist teams in making sure the solutions are feasible in the timeline required. Finally, an evaluation plan is developed that asks teams to identify a data collection process that will inform them if solutions were implemented as planned and had the desired impact on outcomes for students. In conclusion, this critical step constructs the framework for intervention and the process for evaluating the impact of the intervention selected, thus charting the course for subsequent problem-solving actions.